fuck's sake, let's see what's on YouTube. Makagi. What? Fucking hell. New Test Drive Limited. Jeez, fucking love that game. I don't want to do I'm to crack open the old Test Drive Limited 2 I bought from uh, Steam a while back. Have a crew down Ibiza. What can be more fun than that? So when you load the game, you've got the spinny thing in the corner there, just freezing. Game's completely knackered and have an AMD card. I might have the solution for you in this video. So stay tuned after the intro. We'll get into it. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you're going to pop down and open your Steam browser up. Right click it, go to properties. And then here and there, you will find the game directory. If you haven't gone from Steam, you can see this address above. Basically, swap out for the drive you installed it on. And here you'll find your launcher, your program, next build, everything like that. You see all that? You're in the right place. So next thing you want to do is pop to this website, put the link in the description. All this does is basically wrap direct uh, X9 into a Vulcan wrapper, which will work with our graphics cards. And you want to click on the link as shown here, which is the T7 one right by there. Download that somewhere if you're choosing. Shouldn't take long. Then want to go to that directory and then you seven zip to unzip it. Create a new folder. Here's the fun part. Back into there. Extract it one more time. And when you open that up, you should see the x32 folder, which are the files we need for our version of test drive. So go ahead and go into there. And the difficult part here is we need to copy these DLLs into our driver uh, folder. Actually, we don't. I'm lying. What you need to do, it's very simple, is select them all using Control A or drag and dropping over them, copying them. Head back to your test drive folder and simply paste them in. Uh, mine says replace because they're already there, but yours won't. 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 <laughs> Pop them in there. And once they're there, we can then run our test drive launcher. As always, run offline. Hit run. And lo and behold, there's our game. Now, just a difficult decision to make of what cars to buy. See, I'm running the uh, unofficial patch here. Improves the frame rate and stuff. So there are guys online how to do that. So I highly recommend doing that. Obviously, with $72,300, we're not going to get very far. Uh, no. I can't even afford that. Wouldn't know. Yeah, we could have that one. Maybe I'll play this game a bit. I'll say the A7 class is the Alfa Romeo Brera to go for. Can we afford those? I was not even parked correctly. Anyway, hope that works for you. If it, if it does, give a like, sub. Thanks for watching. See you later.